Anytime. Corey and John, do you remember the seven-point creed that my father gave me when I was about your age? Mm -hmm. Was there one particular point in that seven-point creed that appealed to you more, John? Help others. Help others? Mm -hmm. I like that. How about you, Corey? I like the one that's make friendship a fine art. Make friendship a fine art. That's good. I, I think all of them were good as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Remember the first one is make each day. No, it wasn't either. I mixed up there. The first mm -hmm. one is, let's see, um, what is the first one, Corey? Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. That's it. Papa just simply forgot that for a moment. Be true to yourself, and if you're true to yourself, you're going to be true to everybody else. Wouldn't you agree with that? Mm -hmm. And the second was help others. Now, John, you said that's the one that you liked. Mm -hmm. Does it make, how it make you feel when you help others? Um, good, I guess. It's important to help others. Mm -hmm. uh, you probably heard Papa say that um, I think your one's greatest happiness comes when you do something for somebody else when you are not thinking about getting something in return. Do you think something along that line? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now there was another one of um, make each day your masterpiece. Uh, that, that meant a lot to me. And I tried to teach uh, my youngsters when I was uh, teaching various sports to try to do that, try to improve a little bit each day. You can't, you can't make a lot of improvement any one day, but you can make a little every day, and that soon adds up uh, to a lot. I tried to teach that to my English students when I was teaching English and also to the athletes in whatever sport I was uh, teaching. Then we have um, make friends art, which you like. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Um, you like trust your friends and do things for them and they can do things for you and rely on each other. It's very good, honey. I like that. I don't know if you've heard me uh, tell about the time when I was speaking at a group and uh, uh, it was out here in California, and a fellow from Indiana came up there. It happened to be a college classmate of mine, and he said, uh, uh, people in California certainly aren't friendly uh, like they are back in Indiana, are they? And I said, well, what do you mean, Bob? And he said, well, walking over this morning, I met a lot of people, and not a single person spoke to me. He said, that would never happen back in Indianapolis. And I said to him, did you speak to any of them, Bob? He said, I didn't know any of them. Well, you've got to speak if you expect somebody else to speak. If no one speaks, there'll just be nothing there. So you've got to work at fr making friendship. You have to work at as marriage. Both sides have to work at it, if only one side. It isn't friendship with one side, one person just doing something nice for you. And then, let's see, what's the next one? Do you recall? It's Either one others? of them? Drink. Oh, drink. Drink, drink deeply, deeply from good books. Drink deeply from good books, especially the what? The Bible. Especially the Bible. But there are other good books. Autobiographies of uh, people in the past. I, I, I love to read uh, about Mother Teresa. Uh, I think she was the greatest, one of the greatest people that's ever lived in my lifetime, certainly. And uh, uh, the, my, my favorite American is Abraham Lincoln. I like to read everything in the world about him. But there are a lot of other good books. Uh, have, have either one of you ever read? I, I doubt if you have yet, but probably you'll get them as a little later. Uh, some of Lloyd Douglas's books, like, well, we I won't go into that, The Robe and, and some others that are really good. All right, now what's the next one? Build? Build a shelter Build against a day. Build a shelter against a rainy day. We talked about that a little uh, some time ago, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Now what does that really mean about building a shelter against a rainy day? Corey? Like, to Speak up now. To prepare yourself for things like, like death and stuff. To prepare yourself so. mm -hmm, for the future, and, the future. and there's a future after we leave this earth, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the way you live is, I think, uh, preparing yourself for a rainy day. It's the life you live. That's the important thing. And I believe we've hit them all except the very last one. And what's the, what's the last of the seven-point creed? Um, pray for guidance and give thanks for the blessings every day. Pray for guidance and give thanks for your blessings every day. You know. We tend to pray for help all the time, mm -hmm. uh, most of us, in our prayers. We ask for help, but I think we don't give enough thanks for all the things, wonderful things we have. Uh, 
around about us that we did nothing to receive. Do you agree with me on that? Yeah. We just don't appreciate the things we have. Uh, it's like uh, uh, Mr. Lincoln, one of the statements he made was that if we magnified our blessings as much as we magnify our disappointments, we'd all be a lot happier. Mm -hmm. I've made the statement that I'm not what I ought to be. I'm not what I want to be. I'm not what I'm going to be. But I'm better than I would have been because of that seven-point creed my dad gave to me. Have I lived up to it? No. Have I tried? Yes. But I'm imperfect. At times I've failed. Now, as for you two, don't you fail. Don't either one of you fail, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, pulling the trigger. And any time you'd like to start, Coach. When I graduated from a small three-room country grade school, my father gave me two things that have been very meaningful to me. One was an old two-dollar bill, a very large one, much larger than they had later. And he said, uh, son, as long as you keep this, you'll never be broke. And I still have it. And that was a long time ago. But he also gave me a little card. Oh, no, this little card had a verse on one side that said, four things a man must learn to do if he would make his life more true, to think without confusion clearly, to love his fellow man sincerely, to act from honest motives purely, to trust in God and heaven securely. And on the other side were the seven-point creed. I wish I've lived up to it as Dad asked me to. I can't, though, because I'm imperfect, but I can honestly say that I have tried. Well, the first point on this was be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. And if you're true to yourself, you're going to be true to all others. I think sometimes of, uh, I think because I taught English in high school, I think a lot of these things, and uh, one of uh, William Shakespeare's tragedies, he had, uh, a father, Polonius, uh, talking to his son, who's leaving home in a sense, and, and dad thinks he should give him some fatherly advice. He knows his son probably won't listen to him, but he, he feels he should. And so he said to his son, neither a borrower nor a lender be, for loan oft loses both itself and friend, and borrowing dulls the edge of husbandry. This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day, Thou canst not then be false in. I think of that when, when I think of be true to yourself. Then the next one, I believe, was help others. And I believe we all have our greatest joy when we help another. I don't think there's any greater joy than to learn that something you have said or done has been helpful to another, especially when you did it without thinking of getting something in return. Then the next one, I believe, was make friendship a fine art work at making friends. Don't take it for granted. And friendship is two-sided. When someone's doing something nice for you, that's not necessarily friendship. That's a nice person. It's friendship when you do for each other. And then the next one is make each day your masterpiece. Just do the best you can every day. Nobody can do more. Uh, some may have more ability you have in many ways, but if you're trying your best to do the best of which you're capable, no one can do that. We're all equal in that respect. We have the opportunity to make the most of what we have without whining or complaining about what others have. And then was the one, uh, drink deeply from good books, especially the Bible. And of course, we should read that every day, but there's a lot of other good literature out there, a lot of bad too, believe me. But uh, there are a lot of good books. I think biographies of great people of the past uh, we can, we can learn so much from them. You know, that's where you learn from others, in which we read about them, and sometimes we hear them, oftentimes it's just reading about them, but we should, we should drink deeply from good books. And then was the next one, I believe, was uh, build a shelter against a rainy day. And that means the life you lead. When Socrates was um, in, unjustly imprisoned and facing imminent death, uh, he, he, there was, he was so, so peaceful and had so much serenity about him that the, the jailers, who were the meanest people of that day, they couldn't understand that. And one of them said, why aren't you preparing for death? Socrates said, 
I've been preparing for death all my life with the life I've led. I think that's what Dad meant when you're building shelter against the rainy day. It's the life you lead. And then uh, the last one was um, give thanks for your blessings and pray for guidance every day. So much of the time uh, we fail to really give thanks for the blessings, so many things we have for which we did nothing to earn or deserve. We all are willing to pray for help and ask for many things, but we fail to give real thanks and appreciate the things that are ours, really, for nothing. Those are the seven point creeds that, I, that Dad gave me, and I say, I wish I could say I lived up to them, but I can't say I tried. And I'd sure like to feel that all those in my family that I love so dearly would try to do the same thing. Let's uh, wait and do a last thing. What? Fight? We're all. Right now there. we have another name if you can lower this. this. One. There. <laughs> <laughs> You're not uncomfortable, are you? That's all I have now. <laughs> we will strap you down. <laughs> all righty. So looking at your. Uh, Let's see here. Yeah. yeah, I tell you what. Let's. <laughs> okay, guys, anytime. Coach, anytime. Actually, this time, if you want to, like the first time, ask them questions and kind of drag right, them you in. Get that link in there, Jeff. You, I mean, there's, you can see it's, you can really get it in there. Okay. All right, we'll watch the needle then. Yeah. Okay, anytime. Now, you both heard Popo speak about the Seven Point Creed, and uh, I don't think you knew that there's going to be an award given that's sort of my keys to life. And they're from this uh, Seven Point Creed, really. It's going to um, Why don't you, Corey, tell me what we mean in the Creed when we say, make each day your masterpiece? Um, like, make each day as good as you can or ha have like a good day, make it the best day. No one can do more than trying to make it the best day, can they? Mm -mm. Some may have more ability than you have, but no one should be your superior at, at the effort made to try to become the best you're capable of doing, or whatever you're doing in any day. Now, how about uh, John? Uh, when we talk about um, More closer, Jeff. drink deeply from good books. Um, when you read about stuff, try to take that knowledge and put it into life. How do we learn? Reading books. And what else? Um, from other people in the past. And reading about them and listening to the teachers that we have. Now let's. Um, Make friendship a fine art. Which one wants to talk about that? Um, I think you should be do things for your friends and have them do things back to you and do things for each other instead of just one person doing something for you mm -hmm. or you doing just something to one person. You can help each other. When you do something for another, what almost always happens? You get something back. You get something back. And sometimes it's not just a material thing. You can't do a kindness without a reward. Uh -huh. Maybe not in silver or gold, but from joy from our Lord. Yeah. Now, um, we also have the, um, let's see, John, uh, on uh, um, the, what should we pray about? The last point in the creed. What should we pray for? Um, guidance. Things that can make us happier and yeah. attempt to what we can do to make others happier. Do for others. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Let's say, build a shelter against a rainy day. When we're trying to build a shelter against a rainy day, what really are we doing, John? Prepare something to last, not just temporary or, I mean, for life t lifetime, do something that will last against. Mm -hmm. That'll be good for you. Yeah. And failure to prepare 
is preparing to fail. And it's the life we lead that's preparing us for the greatest life of all. How about helping others, Corey? Um, you should be able to help others and not think about getting something back. You should be able to just have the joy of that you helped someone. And it does give you joy, doesn't it? Uh-huh. When you stop and think, don't you feel better of giving something to someone else than when you get something from someone else? Yeah. Receiving things, it doesn't last very long. No. But I think when you do something for somebody else and give something, that, that, that gives you a lasting thing. Well, those are the main things in the creed. And uh, I, I think Dad knew something. You know, when I age, when he gave me this, I, I didn't understand. I'm trying to help you so that you can understand it a little more, but I didn't understand it. It wasn't for years later that um, I really began to understand more what Dad meant when he gave me this creed and that, and that little verse that was on the other side. Can you think of any of the others, Corey? Be true to yourself. Oh, be true I'm to sorry, yourself. Corey. Why don't you say that again? Be true to yourself. And How do you do that? Mm, don't like lie to yourself like say like oh I'm prepared but you're really not mm -hmm. and then if you true to yourself you're true to others mm -hmm. it's sort of like our golden rule mm -hmm. in a way you treat others and the way you'd like to be treated and then you're being true to yourself and you're being true to others at the same time would you agree with me on that yes well I'm glad you would how about you John Yes. Good, good, good. Well, great. Right, we've got it. Yes. Ah, oh, good. Anytime, Coach. Anytime you're ready. I want you to speak to your uh, grandchildren. To the grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something that has been very, very helpful to me, I believe, all my life is something that my father gave me when I graduated from a small three-room country grade school when I was just about your ages. He gave me a seven-point creed and merely said, son, try to live up uh, to these. The one uh, was be true to yourself. Another was help others. Another was make friendship a fine art. Another was making a masterpiece. Another was drink deeply from good books. Another was build a shelter against a rainy day. And the seventh was give thanks for your blessings and pray for guidance every day. I'm flattered that an award is now being given under my name, Keys to Life, that was sort of taken from this seven-point creed. That's great. Right? Yeah. 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 That's good.